Well, in my humble opinion, our next guest needs no introduction. Behind his Grammy award-winning music career and acting roles, Dave Matthews has used his platform to support many humanitarian and environmentalist causes. And now he is using his talents along with a popular children's book author to help craft a new young adult novel called If We Were Giants. Both Dave and Cleet Barrett-Smith join me now. What an honor. Good morning, gentlemen. Thank you very much. Thanks for having us. Good morning, Carly. I am super excited to talk with both of you. Dave, I have to start with you. I have been a fan now for so many years. I think I did the math this morning. I think I've seen you in about three different states, probably about at least a half a dozen shows. You have been into everything. Of course, music is your thing, but you have your own winery. There's board games. What on earth? How did this all come to be now? You part of a children's book or a young adult novel? Uh, maybe li uh, like in a lot of uh, things, I've uh, been fortunate enough to attach myself to someone kind of remarkable. <laughs> uh, but uh, I've been I've been dreaming up this uh, s story for a for a long time, and you know, without really any goal, uh, I've been thinking up uh, thinking about this character Kira and and her adventurous life, and it was inspired in many ways by being a dad and started with me telling it to my daughters when they were six. They're graduating from, from, high, from high school now, and um, I've told it to my son, too, and uh, bits and pieces of it, you know, sort of at bedtime. And, uh, and it just evolved into something and that I, I was kind of excited about. And so I excitedly told it to, uh, uh, during a meeting, told it to Sean Bailey at Disney. I thought maybe it could be a movie, and he, um, he and we were having conversations about that. And, and then he introduced me to uh, Stephanie Lurie, and I, and I told her in an excited room uh, full of people over at Disney Publishing uh, about my story. And then she said to me, uh, would, w what do you think about writing a book? And I said, I can't write a book. I have no <laughs> idea how to write a book. I could never write a book. And then, so I said, w you know, so I said, sorry. And then she said, well, let me introduce you to my friend, uh, Cleet. Barrett yeah. Smith and and I met Cleet and and he is an author and he does write beautiful books and I am very grateful that he has put his imagination and his gift into into this story that he's turned into something uh, enormous. Well, Cleet, let's. I want to hear how this works because it would be a dream of mine to like see Dave Matthews work and see his creative <laughs> process come together. What was that like for you, kind of working with him and getting a story out of that creative mind of his on the paper? Yeah, no, it's a great question. So I, you know, I sit down for a dinner with Dave Matthews, super excited <laughs> uh, to meet him, but also also nervous, of course. But and you know, and Carly, you like all of his fans uh, should know, he, Dave is just as kind and collaborative and, and gracious as you would expect. And so, you know, a couple minutes into having dinner with him, kind of the nerves went away, and he has such an energy and a passion that's really infectious around the story that's so important to, to him and his family. So he just, he really it was it was easy to get swept up into his excitement over this premise and these and these characters but then i think even better he was really open to the spontaneity of the of the writing process and the collaboration and sort of letting a lot of times writers will say sometimes the characters start telling you the story and he just he really he allowed me to let the characters breathe and live on the page and and come to life and it just it couldn't have been a better experience to be honest well and it's all storytelling i feel like that's why i got in the business too even as a tv host i think we have an opportunity to tell people stories whether you're doing it for music or through a children's book or whatever i mean was that was the creative you know, kind of process there somewhat similar to music? Um, yeah, I think there's any time that you are making something sort of from, from scratch, uh, uh, there is a process of, you know, discovery and, and that happened certainly in the story when it was in my head and, and but the, the part that was for me about this that was so exciting was after I told um, my story, to, this story to Cleet, and he'd ri started writing, and, he, and I saw the, those first pages. Um, it was discovery for me because he didn't, you know, he didn't, he really didn't just write my story down. He made it his, and so there, 
like right away, I'm like, well, oh, that's that's what happened, and that's you know there was all these these nuances and things inside of characters, and and uh, Kira, who's our central character, suddenly her father is this awesome guy, which made me feel sort of even more invested in it. It was this it, this realization that um, that Cleet was going to turn the story into it, into something that. Yeah was much bigger and, I, and it became something for it became something that now I was discovering so I was watching him yeah. make something watching well, him we can't wait to discover the, it as well process we're out of time I'm so disappointed I'm also disappointed Dave you always come to Tampa the week of my birthday in July and you're we're not on the tour this year what happened oh um uh, you'll have to talk to my manager. It's not. It's not. It's not I, I didn't do any. I know. I'm all, I know. I know. I, when, when you say, when you when you say Tampa, I already know what the venue looks like. I already know what the backstage looks I like. Know, I already know what the front of the house looks Florida like. So it's always I mean, around July twentieth. I mean, I mean, I mean, we're all, we're always there. So I, okay. I apologize. Um, you drive across Florida. I know. I've seen you there, too. I'll have to do it again. Again, such an honor uh, to chat with you both this morning. Truly, uh, such a big fan. And, uh, again, I can't wait to read this. And then see the movie and have you, Dave, do the soundtrack for it, okay? <laughs> Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you very much.